Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of relating fractions and decimals. This is standard 4.2G in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 15 of the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a bag of snack mix and all we have is eight and nine hundredths or eight and nine over 100 ounces. We need to turn this into a decimal. There is no A, B, C, or D to choose from. We're gonna have to figure this out on our own. So let's first start with a place value chart. Now, before we made it into fourth grade, we would start always with the ones place, but now we've got some place value that are smaller than the ones place. So what we need to do in fourth grade and above when you're building a place value chart, start with a decimal. Everything kind of rotates around this decimal right here. So to the left of the decimal, that's your ones place. So that's what used to be the smallest place value that you knew, ones. If we wanted to kind of build past that, we would go tens, hundreds, kind of goes off the screen. But to the left of the decimal, everything goes like normal, like we've always learned. It's to the right of the decimal is when we get our smaller place values, our fractional place values here. So this first one is a tenths. I'm going to underline the THS because that's extremely important. And you see it kind of mirrors. We don't have a match for the ones. There's no such thing as once but we have a tens and a tenths. They sound similar, but they're completely different. And then next we've got a hundredths. And if we were to build to the left past tens, we would get hundreds. So there's kind of that mirror there. Beyond both of those is thousandths and thousands. So it kind of has that mirror property there, except for this ones, there's no match for ones. So how do we build this? Well, we've got eight. Well, we know how to put eight. If we wanted to put eight on a place value chart, we would simply put it right there. We would say there's eight ones because that's in the ones spot. Now, this is where it gets really, really tricky. My first thought might be to put my nine right there because it's just a single digit, but we have to take a look at the denominator. So this is nine hundredths. If I were to put a nine, eight, if I were to put that right there, that nine right there, well, this is really what I'd be looking at. I'd be looking at eight and nine, and then you have to look at the place value tenths. I don't want eight and nine tenths. I want eight and nine hundredths, which means I've got to put this nine in the place value that is being mentioned here, and I've got my 100. This 100 matches this hundredths. So when you have a fraction that has a denominator of 10, only 10, it matches your tenths. When you have a fraction with a denominator of 100, it actually matches your hundredths, and 1,000 goes to thousands. When you see a denominator with 10, 100, 1,000, it's really easy to turn that into a decimal. If you have other denominators, you can turn them into decimals, but you have to do some division or some other types of things. So we've got 8 point nothing nine. This is eight and nine hundredths. The only thing I'm really missing, there's my eight, there's my nine, and it's sitting in the hundredths spot. I've got this blank on the tenths, and I don't really want to use that blank, so the only thing we could do is to put a digit that is equal to blank, which is zero. So that's how we put these two together. 8.09, you would say eight and, the decimal becomes and when we're saying it out loud, nine, and then you say it's place value name, hundredths. And that's the same as how you would say this, eight and nine hundredths. Now, we need to bubble this in. So if we're looking at our bubble chart, you're gonna kinda get something that looks like this. You've got a decimal right there. You're gonna have two spots to the right of the decimal. And you're always gonna have three spots to the left of the decimal. And so what we're gonna look at here is we are going to place it just like we said, start with the decimal. You're gonna put your eight right here. You're gonna find your eight down here and you're gonna bubble that in. You have to put your zero, definitely put that zero right there. Find the zero, bubble it in, and then your nine, bubble it in. There you go, eight and nine hundredths.